In the last 24 hours, there's been a lot of Halo news. Some more positive than others, but some are quite negative in a way, or depending on how you take it. But there's a lot of information that could hint towards the future of the Halo franchise and even Halo campaigns. This video is not a rant, hating on Halo or anything of the sort. I love Halo in the franchise and want the best for it, no matter what. And I know you guys do too. So if this video is purely informational, but I'll also share my thoughts throughout. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments on what you think of this news. The support for Halo Infinite could slowly dwindle into the mist, making its way for the new Halo game. But without further ado everyone, let's dive straight into the news. Halo Infinite was a game that was meant to be the Halo game for the next 10 years. However, this is now not the case. Halo's 10 year plan was scrapped pretty early on in its life cycle, along with any campaign DLC that might have ever been in the works, and probably many more features. We've been in limbo with Halo news for a while now, not hearing anything really about the future Halo projects, apart from Sketch mentioning it a while back in an interview that the team are looking forward to the future of Halo, and then internal leaks getting out, hearing more around what's going on in the studio, Xbox, and Microsoft. Even some reports stating that the next Halo campaign has been in development since 2021. Believe it if you will, I don't know. There's no, been no one reputable that's confirmed it, but it's going to be running on a completely new engine, Unreal 5, which we have heard a lot about in the last year or so. True or false, I'm not here to decipher that. But what I am here to do is talk about some news and information we got yesterday during January 30th's season six in quotation marks which is now going to be called something completely different. Halo Infinite is shifting away from seasons, starting from January 30th. Operations are replacing seasons with content updates planned too. The January update will be known as Content Update 29 or CU29 instead of Season 6. This is big news and it shows that Halo Infinite is no longer a long-term vision for Xbox and or 343. Yes, there will be updates and new stuff, but like 343 did with MCC, the game will be supported by a small team, and then eventually all support will stop, content-wise anyway. 343 are doing the exact same thing with Infinite. Season 6 is a content update 29, and that'll be how we see 4th for the foreseeable. Is that a bad thing? No. Does this mean we're getting less content? Not at all. The only bomber and complaint that I have is 343 are so set on releasing new maps, skins, but not adding any new fun weapons or new vehicles to the game, I think that may have killed the fun a little bit. There are so many weapons they could have added from previous Halo games that would have made the game so much more fun, and I hope they're all in the next game. But I think this is a very telling factor that the mindset of Xbox and 343's higher-ups are that Infinite is done, on to the next one, which is why we haven't had these features and different things. What does this mean for Halo? Well, it just means that the focus is now being moved away from Infinite, and the rest of the team are now focusing on the next Halo game, whether that's a multiplayer version as well, the campaign, Firefighter, making it more of a complete Halo game. Because Infinite wasn't that. I think it's pretty easy to doom and gloom, but I generally think for overall population, a lot of Halo fans are very jaded from Halo Infinite right now, and probably will never play it again, no matter how much 343 throw into it to try and bring it back to life. When a game comes out and you're not feeling it, you're 9 times out of 10 probably not going to go back to that game even if it's had a significant amount of updates. There's a chance that you've already got a sour taste in your mouth and that's it for some people. They are very naive in the fact that they're not going back to it. And I think Infinite killed it for those players very early on. Moving to another game that is feature complete upon launch is one way to win those fans back and I think this is the strategy for Microsoft. Now with Microsoft lifting their hiring freeze, 343 have recruited many new staff members leads in their new roles and just general employees in those teams so this game could be well and truly underway and it could have been again since 2021 like the rumor suggested with new management too in the studio we've seen huge shifts in how infinite's been managed and it's so refreshing to see and you can definitely see that the changes higher up have really changed the game for those that have paid attention so just imagine how well production for the next halo game is going to be with all of that in mind it's very exciting if the rumour of the 2021 start of the next production for the game was true, we need to also take into account that the team were going through so many layoffs and things during that time. It was a very difficult time for the gaming world. A lot of people were laid off, but at the same time, they weren't allowed to bring anyone new in, so they had to perform on a skeleton staff crew, essentially. So now that they've been able to hire again, they've got a full team, and they're ready to crack on with the next project. And man, I'm so excited to see what 343 are cooking up. Look, I'm not trying to hype anyone up here, but if this is the direction we're looking, 
we could see a new Halo trailer this year or even next year. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down below on this everyone. It's a bit, bit of a quick informational video. But what direction would you want the new Halo game to go? Open world? Linear? Or something else? But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. A pretty short one just to go through all of the information we got yesterday. I love Halo. I want nothing but the best for the franchise. I was a Halo YouTuber uh, like two years ago, just solely Halo. But obviously with the Infinite's performance, it just wasn't the time to, to stick with the franchise. So I've branched out since. But I'm very glad that I did because I've learned a lot about everything. And I'm just so gassed and excited to go back to Halo and just upload as much lore content as I possibly can because it was so fun to do that. But of course, let me know your thoughts and opinions down below, everyone. What do you think of the new Halo? What do you think of the rumors? Do you think they're trust me bro sources, or do you think they could actually have some weight to them? But everyone, it's been a pleasure as always. We'll see you guys next time.